Tonight in 7 News Flashback, The Fight for Your Vote. Remarkable film from deep inside our archives reveals how campaigning and election night has dramatically changed over the past 40 years. Wind back the clock and politics played a bigger part in the community. More people held party membership. Candidates campaigned in public. Politicians had to hold their own against hecklers to win over a crowd. This was Bob Hawke helping the ALP in Redlands at Eight Mile Plains in 1972. You know it as well as I do that the pensioners of this country are people who live in poverty. Here, Brisbane Lord Mayor Clem Jones campaigns at Ashgrove, hoping to make the switch to state politics. He failed. Labor was under the gun. Joe was all-powerful. The first Premier to realise the power of television and talkback radio. Bobby H at your service, inviting you to ask the Premier on 214444, and here's our caller. Good afternoon, Mr Premier. Good afternoon. When election day finally rolled around, the hairdos were a little different. Ballot boxes were made of steel and the booths timber. Now it's all cardboard. Before computers, the teleboard was totally manual. Television stations filmed the results as the numbers hit the board. In 1972, Joe crushed everybody. Labor, with some third of the vote, has 11 seats or fewer in the House of 82. The Liberals, with a bigger share of the vote than the National Party, are still not dominant in the coalition. The gerrymander meant country electorates with fewer voters played a bigger role in the election outcome, a system set up by Labor but exploited by Joe. So would he change it? Well, the, the whole area of redistribution, this is what I can assure you, will, it will be dealt with at the appropriate time at the right place, like every other, other thing, and the basis and system on will decide at that time. That was Joe speak for no. There was only one party he hated more than Labor, and that was his coalition partner, the Liberals. In the 1980s, he nearly wiped them off the tally board. It tears up the coalition agreement. A rift that took a quarter of a century to heal. Now, a United LNP is hoping for its first win. Very rarely do Queenslanders change governments, but when they do, it's always dramatic. It's an extraordinary state. It delivers extraordinary outcomes. And one thing I've got to say about Queensland, it's always exciting. This is going to be, in the, in the 40 years that I've been watching elections, the most exciting I've ever seen.